Dateline, King City, a city devoted to the glory of God, but in her dark underbelly, there are villains gathering, evil men who seek to steal God's glory. Will King City find her hero? Can she be saved and restored to her former glory? For the answer to these questions and more, tune in every week to the King City Chronicles. Hey guys, Casey Carter here. I've been working hard all week to try and find clues about Uncle Phil's sudden disappearance. I even went to his old hideout to try and find some clues, but all I could find were some old blueprints. I wish that I could find just one solid clue. Uh-oh, looks like someone's sending something to the phone booth. Oh, what that is. Whoa, would you look at that? It's, it's another figurine from the nativity scene. Oh, this one's Joseph. Joseph was Jesus' father. Well, God is really Jesus' father, but Joseph was Jesus' earthly father. He was married to Mary and helped raise baby Jesus. Huh. <gasps> this must be a clue to read about Joseph. I'll get the Bible right now. Good news. Good news. All right, Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. <gasps> Wow, this chapter teaches us how Jesus could trace his family all the way back to Abraham and Isaac through King David and King Solomon. Jesus came from a long line of kings and godly men and women. Family is very important. Wow, reading this makes me miss Uncle Phil even more. Sometimes I miss him so much it's almost like I can hear his voice. Arms, arms for the poor. Do you hear that? It's almost like he's here with us. Can you spare some change for a poor man? Uncle Phil? Uncle Phil, it's you! It's you! I knew you were alive! Oh, well, after all, I sent you enough <gasps> clues! Oh, what happened to you? Oh, well, you see, after I was thrown off the wall, I bumped my head and lost my memory. Oh, oh I wandered around lost for weeks. I couldn't remember a single thing except the number of that phone booth <sighs> and the fact that I had an important message to tell someone. Uh, a little by little, I made my way back home. Well, Uncle Phil, you risked your life in order to defeat the obliterator. I know, I just remembered that. Is he gone for good? Well, they locked him and his evil oh. henchmen up into a maximum security prison, so we shouldn't see them for a very long time. But what was your clue about? W was it about Joseph and how Jesus came from a long line of kings? Well, yes, that's part of it, but there's more. You see, an angel actually appeared to Joseph and told him all about Mary's baby. Oh, oh wow. read, read what the angel said. Uncle Phil, you found your Bible. I did. And I found my way back to God. Oh, read what the angel said, Casey. Okay. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. Huh. Wow. <laughs> That's it. That's the message. Jesus came from kings, but he is the king of kings who came to save us from our sins. It says here the name Jesus comes from the name Joshua, which means the Lord saves. That's the message of Christmas. Oh, well, that's a truth that no one can argue with. <laughs> Amen. You know, Casey, I wandered around and away from the truth for so very long. Oh, and I forgot the most important message in the world, that Jesus was born to save us all from our sins so we could be part of God's forever family. Of course. Oh, I want to tell the whole world that they too can be a part of God's family. Well, oh, hey, we can run an ad in the, uh, in the King City Herald. Oh, what a great idea! Let's go do it, and then we can tell everyone we, we give everything, everything to honor our king. king. See you next week, kids. Let's do it right now.